Okay. See if we can make this one look good. We'll give it an approximate enlargement for this. We'll see how big we're going to make it. 350 that way and 350 this way. Okay, let's see if we can make this look good. Right, it's another piece of litter with an interesting photograph. Not photograph, silly, it's not a fucking photograph. Maybe that's a bit of a photograph, but that would have been generated on a computer. So we're going to try and get this little image in the picture. So we're just going to put that there. We're just going to do some interesting work with it. Going to make it look more interesting. Okay. Okay. That looks interesting, but it looks like we've lost most of the nice picture. We don't have the picture in the frame, but the colours look don't look too bad. So we're just going to try again. Just play with the buttons and make sure we don't get auto cleared. We're going to try and get that cute little cow thing in the picture and make it look distorted. So we're just going to put it up there and try that again. Okay. Okay, that looks quite nice actually we've got our little cow I think it's meant to be a cow no it's a, it's meant to be a beef cattle actually but you know what I mean it's it's a cow but it's beef it's a beef cattle cow <laughs> yeah not much fun being beef cattle obviously and a lot of people indeed are vegetarian or vegan I don't know what the difference between being vegan and being vegetarian is but I assume it's they're both very similar uh things that people do to to save animals from being slaughtered and it's very under even though i'm not a vegetarian i do understand what what is behind it you know the feeling that because they don't get a good life these cattle don't have a good life so it's understandable that people just don't want to eat them they want to preserve them and have them live just like we live yeah animal i think it's just called animal liberation so it's understandable that people don't want to eat these animals because hey they've got feelings too and shit sometimes i wonder why i bother eating fucking meat i don't eat much meat but i'm not i'm not to the point where i'm vegan or vegetarian uh but i can under i really can understand what's behind it and it and trying to put myself in the position of a of, of, of cat of a piece of, of a member of a cattle herd or whatever it's really quite horrible to think that your only time on earth is going to be cut short because humans want to eat us you know eat me so it's really hard to it's it's not too hard in my opinion to to understand why people go vegan or vegetarian i don't know what vegan is exactly what the difference is i think it is similar to vegetarianism i think it does involve abstaining from eating animals but i don't know enough about it so i don't know what the difference is i think it's very similar but i don't know maybe i should google it i don't know but that looks really quite nice 
Looks a bit blended. I think I could do some work on the colour a bit more. That looks good. Maybe we could make this a bit bigger to fit the page better, to make that the centre of the page. But yeah, it's understandable why people just won't eat meat. It's really understandable. And I do feel sorry for the creatures that we do eat, even though I do eat them in some way, shape and form myself. It's almost shameful to say that <laughs> when there are so many people who feel so much for these animals more than the average person. I mean, when I was a kid, I used to love animals and I still do. So why do I... But the, the vegetarians often say, if you love animals, why do you eat pig or why do you eat beef or, you know, and that's understandable. It's like, I like fish in a fish tank, but I still eat fish, which is kind of strange. In, in when you think about it, when you engage your mind with the mindset, it's really, you wonder why are you doing it? You feel hypocritical, you feel sad, you know, thinking, but I just, I can't be a vegetarian, even though I'm very... I don't eat much meat, but I can understand what goes through the minds of vegetarians. Maybe I can't understand everything, uh, but yeah, it's like that. It's sad to think that creatures just don't have a right to live as much as we humans do. But that looks really good. I think we can. That's a really good fill in for the page. So, and it looks quite nice color wise. So now I'm thinking we're going to make this into our usual thing. I think that's going to be the middle or maybe there or I'm trying to think what's going to make a better middle. I'm thinking that, that there, there's a nice little corner up there. It'll make a nice middle. So I'm trying to decide which corner we're going to make the middle into. So here we go. Okay, it's a tough choice how we're going to do this. Uh, I'm wondering if we're going to, how we're going to make this. I don't know which corner I want to use. I'm thinking that corner actually. This corner here, we're just going to do it this way. We're just going to make up our fucking minds and do it this way. We've got a really nice diamond. I like diamonds, even though there'll be some kind of diamond there. I think this is the better one. So let's just line that up. And now we're just going to print off two mirror images for this. Okay. I think the reason why people like me can still eat meat or fish or poultry, even albeit in small amounts, is, well, I do eat probably more fish than... I know, I don't eat, haven't eaten much fish for a while, but I like tuna and sardines and salmon and anchovies. But basically, how should I put it? I've forgotten what I had to say. Oh, fuck, I hate it when that happens. I had something important to say. I just don't know what I was saying. I've forgotten. I had, it was important. If I could rewind this video and still keep videoing, I, I could find out. But I have to keep this rolling, I'm afraid. But basically, yeah, that's what I was going to say. So basically, the reason why I can eat fish, meat and shit like that, and poultry, is that I don't get to see the process of killing I don't see the, the animals being bundled up into the abattoir and slaughtered. And I think that's the only thing that probably prevents me from, from not eating meat or animal products is that I don't get to see the slaughterhouse or what goes on in the slaughterhouse. I've seen occasionally pictures from animal liberationists and shit like that, but because I don't actually see what goes on in the slaughterhouse, that's why, that's probably why I can still eat this shit. I don't know what'll happen, what would happen if I actually got to see a slaughterhouse in action. I could always look it up on YouTube at some stage, but I can't at the moment because I haven't got enough data. I've got to cover the data for my 
videos, I'm barely scraping it through. And I can't afford to buy more data. So, but if I could, but that's the only reason why I think, or well, one of the main main reasons why I can still eat meat is I don't get to see the abattoir. And even if I see the abattoir, I could probably still switch off as long as, whatever. It's hard to say, but that's one thing I don't get to see is what goes on in the abattoir. I've seen pictures, uh, but it's I think that's part of the reason. But there are others. Uh, oh well, it's a tough choice. It's a, it's really understandable why you people are vegetarians, and I, I respect that because it's it is. I do think about animals a lot, and it is sad that their lives do get cut short. But we're still, we're still humans, and humans, I've heard have have dominion over animals, even though it, it does hurt a lot of people. I'm sorry if I've offended anyone, but. I just thought I'd throw you some throw you some two cents of my work time into this.